in today's video I'll be showing you how to set up and install Chrome to run GeForce Now. But before we get started don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it and it helped and also subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. The first thing we need to do is install Chrome to our Windows 10 PC or laptop. To do this all you need to do is click on the link that's in the description below and you will end up on a page that looks like this. You now need to go ahead and press download Chrome and we now need to go save file. Once the file has finished downloading we now need to run the setup file and it will now begin to download and install Chrome to our machine. Once Chrome has finished installing you now need to copy the second link that's in the description below and then you will end up on the GeForce Now page. We now need to go across to download. And you need to make sure you're doing this in the Chrome browser because the next thing we need to do is simply click on launch next to Chrome browser beta. We now need to go agree if you do agree to the terms. I'm just going to expand the window for a second and we can now go next and just got it. As you can see at the top here we can search for our games and on the left hand side we can open up a menu where we can adjust some of the settings within Chrome for GeForce Now. On the right hand side here we have balance which basically takes full advantage of the available bandwidth to make sure the image quality and gameplay is at its best. If you do find that Chrome struggles when streaming GeForce Now games you can always click on custom and we can actually change a few settings to make Chrome run a lot better because remember it is currently in beta. The first thing you need to do is change the max bit rate. You can simply click on the drop down and go custom and then you can turn this all the way down if you want to make the game run a lot smoother and we can also change the resolution. Obviously the lower the resolution the faster and smoother the game will run. And that also goes for the frame rate if you drop this down to 30 the game will also run a lot smoother. As you can see it now says the gameplay will use approximately 2 gig an hour. The next thing you want to do is change the server location as you can see it's currently on auto. We actually want to change this to a server nearer to ourselves. So I'm just going to select EU Central and that will be fine. And then we now need to click on login in the top right hand corner. You now need to sign into your GeForce Now account. I'm going to go ahead and sign in. If you don't have an Nvidia account you can always go ahead and click on don't have an account and then you can create one. Once you have signed in you will then have a few different options to choose from. I'm just going to go ahead and press submit. And as you can see it now says I'm logged in. We now need to close down this tab and then go to the original first tab. And we now need to go ahead and click on the three lines in the top left hand corner and go to games. As you can see it does say here install the app if you want but we don't want to we want to use Chrome. So I'm going to select not now and if we scroll down as you can see there are lots of different games we can choose from. For now I'm just going to go ahead and select Fortnite and press play. It will now launch Fortnite within my Google Chrome browser. Unfortunately because I am using the free version of GeForce now I am currently in a queue and there are currently 71 gamers ahead of me. So I do need to wait a little bit until I can play the game. Once the game is ready to launch you will have a pop up in the left hand corner saying do you want to allow GeForce now to access your microphone. You can choose allow or block. Depends if you want to be able to talk in game. I'm just going to go ahead and press block for now and we now need to press continue. And you then need to sign into your Epic Games account if you're trying to play Fortnite that is or whatever game it is it could be an origin game so then you'd need to sign into your origin account. I'm going to go ahead and sign into my Epic Games account now and there we go as you can see Fortnite has now loaded but before I go ahead and press play I just want to show you something if you press the Windows key on your keyboard as you can see if I hover over Google Chrome Fortnite is within that little preview window and that's because Chrome is now running Fortnite. So I'm now going to go ahead and press play and there you have it as you can see I'm now currently in Fortnite on Google Chrome using the GeForce Now. 
I hope you enjoyed this video and it did help you. If you did, smash that like button below and subscribe for more computer sluggish tutorials.